Today's Vermeyer Day, which is pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, I'm gonna hop around the Citadel just for a bit before I go to Vermeyer. Excuse you. I just don't get why we do daylight savings. Like, I really wish everyone would just quit. We don't need it anymore. It's 2021. Oh my god, a keeper. How did I not get this one? And there's not even anything to survey. You just go. Jeez. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. And hey, Zeno. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take him out. Go in hot. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. It's so pretty. You've got a clean drop, Commander. Thank you, Joker. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. AA Each towers. Each hit the camp once those towers are offline. Joker out. Um... I'm pretty sure I saw a Krogan, a Geth. I've been loving seeing the speculation about who's in it. What are these things? Um, somebody said they thought that they saw that Liara was like the Asari. And I might have missed something, but what makes people think that? Like, people seem pretty sure that this next game is going to be like an epilogue to Mass Effect 3. Which I like, I like that idea. And then I think people were people were saying stuff that I didn't recognize, so I thought it might have been like Andromeda references. I'm just like excited because I wasn't expecting to see anything. Okay, we're crashing. It's so peaceful here. Why do they why do we have to fight here? Why can't we just relax? I don't want to hit these things. <laughs> Paragon Shepherd doesn't hit locals. Or not an epilogue is the wrong word. I guess like a continuation, like a sequel sequel. I'm having a hard time thinking. It's been a long day. This poor guy. I'm just gonna run you over. One time I drove over these rocks thinking like, how cool, and I died. So note to self, avoid that. Oh, I got out. Like I said yesterday, if you were to play a drinking game with the stream, it would be drink every time I accidentally get out of the Mako, because it happens a lot. Oh, those came down easy. Oh, look, you guys killed a local. I'm so much stronger than these things. Like, why are they even fighting me? Just surrender. I'm an armored vehicle. It is so pretty here. Like, what's that? Is that a comm tower or is that like a existing structure? I can't tell. Stop shooting me. I'm trying to sight the... You know there's more of you. Do I have to get out? Mm-hmm. Trying to hide from me. Thought being up here would save you. Yeah, so I was so relieved when I found out that, like, everyone <laughs> thinks the Mako is, like, ridiculous to drive. Because I thought, when I first started playing, that it was just me. And that I was just, like, uniquely terrible <laughs> at moving around. There's the artillery, Ooh. Shepard. Here it is. Let's park up here. I feel like a responsible person would park the Mako not in the Moving water. Out. Ooh, oh, I did a better job that time. Thank you, Kaden. Oh my god, Kaden, get rid of this one. Lift him up or something. Not this way. Okay, thanks. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. 
On approach to the Salarian base now. Out. Okay. Ready to move out, Commander. This is so funny. We look like Charlie's Angels. Oh, another Bond hallway. Oh my god. Don't charge at me. It's a pandemic. We need... Whoa. I was going to say we need to social distance, but... Okay, we need to social distance. Oh my god, that guy melted. I think we're good, Commander. Do you think so, Caden? Do you think we're good? Okay. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. What do you mean? The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Oh. There's the camp. Thank you, Rex. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. I like how I get here and Ashley is just already yelling at people. Like, that's on brand. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Hot Every zone. AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Hot zone sounds like fun and sexy, but that's not the vibe I'm getting. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. Oh my god. What? You're all they sent? I forgot I about that. I told the Council to send a fleet. We are the reinforcements. Oh my god. It's like me and two other people. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Uh, taking a picture for Instagram. <laughs> um, okay. Saren? Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. Okay, but yeah, I, what's he doing? What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has this. discovered a cure for the genophage. I love soaking in the shock of this moment. Um, neither of them look shocked. This is shocking. It's a cure to the genophage. Guys. What's so important about curing this genophage? Why am I asking this question? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Guys. Oh no. Okay. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? Mm -mm. I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. Agreed. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. Ugh. We are not a mistake. I feel so bad for Rex. Is he going to be a problem? Are you going to we be We already a problem? have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Listen. You piece of crook. I'm be respectful. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. <sighs> I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? <sighs> I miss Red. I'm, okay, Paragon is fine. I do like how Paragon is like the road of least resistance like everyone responds well to it but sometimes i just feel like shepherd's not saying the right things go ahead captain i'll come back soon like i miss how direct we won't be long, renegade commander. is in the meantime if you need any supplies you can talk to commander rentola he's in one of the tents nearby looks like things are a bit of a mess that's an understatement yeah. i wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for rex it looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You look like you're gonna blow a gasket. You're wearing the same outfit you were wearing when I met you. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. Okay, that's actually solid advice. I'll be careful. But be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. <sighs> Are you?
What's what you shooting at? This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I agree with you. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. Don't feel that way. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Oh my god, we're pointing guns at each other. I've done more for him than his family, that's sad. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren, tools. Is that what you want for them? What the hell? No, we were tools for the Council once. Okay. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard, you've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Tally, what you think? The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Okay, Gareth. Normally I wouldn't think much of Salarians in a firefight, but these soldiers seem well trained. Okay, Gareth, with the backhanded compliment. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Thank you. Nice work with Rex. I didn't think anything would calm him down. Man of little faith. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. Oh. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Oh. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Okay, where? Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. We don't have enough men. There's like four of us. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. Oh. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. Sneak it in the back. Oh, I'm so ready. Jorma for the hold the line speech. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. <laughs> We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. <laughs> I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. Oh. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. Oh, that's a great idea. I love it. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Stop it. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Salarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Yeah. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? That's true. That's like one of Ashley's best lines. Uh, Captain, who do you need? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Okay. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Okay, we'll take Ashley. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Oh, I have so many. The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. Yes. You talk like this is a suicide mission. Oh, it is. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. <sighs> Shadow seems clear enough. What would the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeeto. 
Okay. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. Love they it. are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. I think that's a great sentiment. I don't think it would work on me. Sentimental things don't really inspire anything for me. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Yep. Disable the AA guns so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. Okie dokie. Like, if, like, if the equivalent would be if I guess I was on a thing and they were like, let's name so you remember what you're fighting for after, like, Jamaica and America. It would be like, whatever. I don't know. I guess it wouldn't work on me. But if they, I don't know. There's other things they could call it if they called it, like, pizza. That's something worth fighting for that I would get, like, inspired and emotional about. Or, like, a strawberry popsicle. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Okay, I'm not ready yet. I need a few more moments to prepare. You guys are just standing Just here. say the word. I'm ready to go. Are you ready, Commander? Let's go. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I okay, need to prepare my men. Okay, here we go. Men. Here we go. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. Okay. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Oh. <laughs> What is it? Is there something you want to say, Chief? I don't know. It's just weird, going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Yeah, I'm the best. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs. Keep your eyes open and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. Here it goes. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life, but I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. The silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, Awkward. but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop staring. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Tom check. Do you read me, Commander? Yes. It's fine. Let's move. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Chief Williams, with Igor team. Manovai, Teato teams, move! Time to get some attention. I'm glad that Shepard didn't have to make a speech following the Solarian one, because... Even just playing a game. That's a lot of pressure to follow such a speech. It's triangulation tower. Disrupt! They're calling sat strikes! Jayeto, watch for comm stations! Williams, can you see anything? Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. I will not be saving Ashley. Captain Kirihi's 
down. Igor, form up with Deanto. Hold that line. How's Kirihi down? This is crazy. Do We've it, Kaden. We've got Kaden. access to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Williams and the Solarians to handle. They've got enough trouble. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Yeah, I want to kill people. Solarians? The captain said something about losing some men. He did. He did say that. When did we hear about indoctrination in the game, though? I don't remember that. Like, Benezia and some people on Eden Prime mentioned the ship making you feel lightheaded and make oh and that Asari on Pharaohs too also mentioned it but no one actually used the word indoctrination well you're not a gath and you're not wearing a lab coat I guess I'm glad to see you Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment captured during recon I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base no fleet just me the transmission wasn't clear the fleet's not coming I see then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms, progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. It turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. I'll let him out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. That kind of sucks, though, for him. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. True. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. No threat here, Commander. Are they even aware of us? I don't think no, so. This is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure, but leave them like this. I know. Look at them. Open the door and kill them. Ugh. Well, we're paragons, so we're just gonna let them out to mindlessly wander this planet that we're about, or this base that we're about to nuke. So, I don't know how that's friendly or nice, but whatever. Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are They're you sure we should at least in this state there? It's silly to not, like, they're not even aware of anything. I don't get why it's Paragon to like let them just... They're not even aware that there's going to be a blast. Let them out. They won't hurt us. All right, Commander, but I don't like it. Nobody likes this, but for some reason it's Paragon. Like, are they even going to leave? It calls, and I must follow. I am only what it wants me to be. It is emptiness. It never sleeps. What? The voice is always with me, whispering. We are nothing before them. There will be nothing but the voice. The voice brings endless night. Every word is the void. It is all. There will be peace in the silence. Guys. When comes the harvest, so must they reap. I'm letting these people out? From the void! The darkness! There is no escape. There is. No one escapes. Peace in death. No one will survive! I just. It calls. Okay, and I we've must heard follow. it all. Why am I not letting these ones what out? Mean? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Oh, well, are you sure? Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Meno Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG, man. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, man. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? I don't think that's too much to ask. What did they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper. Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Commander. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. What? Why do I look like that? Why is my mouth doing that? I can't stop looking at it. 
this is a very dramatic moment and this is what Shepard looks like to him right now. Okay, we're letting him out. Set him free. He could help us. He won't help, though. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they are so simple? So damn simple! Oh my god, what's happening? Why are we fighting him? We have to fight all of them? That's sad. You guys don't stand a chance. Look it. I feel like Caden really wants to say I told you so, but he's too polite to do that. Woo! His throw is insane. What is going on here? Oh my Where god, my gun. Where are the guns? Okay, Batman. Rex, I could really use your no. help right now. Stay back. This is important work. This is the glorious salvation of my species. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Caden. Caden's like, I'm ready. I'm not gonna hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you don't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. Okay. That was easy. See? <laughs> Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? Oh, well, tell me about your research. What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers, mm. to control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage. Well, tell me about the collateral damage. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Can you imagine if you get to your job and it's like, yeah, the guy that you're replacing, study him. Oh, that's stressful. Saren's interest. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Okay, sovereign signal. That's what I'm interested Tell in. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you wanna make it out alive, you better start running. Hmm. What? You can't... How are you upset But I'll me? never... Oh! We look so good. Like, I didn't make us match on purpose. It just happened. This Commander, look over here. It's another beacon. This is... Like the one on Eden Prime. I think I'm gonna meet Sovereign soon. I have chills.
Shepard, are you okay? How many calories do you think that whole thing burns? Because she looks pretty tired. Where's Caden? Caden's like supposed to be my rock. My space boyfriend support system and he's not even here. Saren needs to pay for what he's done to my people. What the hell? What? Why were you up here? We eliminate this. Okay, best part of the game. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind. Fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There's a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. I love Sovereign so much. <laughs> Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. The Reaper. Reaper. A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Yes, he could. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. He's so cool. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. No, they're not united. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? Mm. The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. See, okay, like I know that what Shepard says isn't exactly these words, but sometimes I feel like the Paragon one comes off kind of dumb because Paragon Shep is like, I don't understand, but Renegade Shep comprehends and doesn't believe it. Like, I don't know. Come on, Paragon Shep. Like, come on, pick it up. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. Harvesting us. Yes. Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? No. We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Ugh, not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. That's rude. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Boop. Dang. Sovereign with the flair for the dramatics. He said, I'm hanging up on you, and then he broke a window. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. Sovereign? This console is shot. 
Orders, Commander. Sovereign also kind of gives me Regina George vibes. Like, he's just, like, very angry and petty, and I love it. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. Why? Why? Is this a shotgun? Why are the geths so thick, though? Charges are set! Everyone get low, now! <laughs> All right! Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. One Commander, I'm bringing us in. About. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Okay, that looks like a ladybug. Like, couldn't they have made a more ominous looking nuke? I read you. The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kirahi is dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Pick him up. Get them out of there, Joker, now! Negative. It's too hot. Can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move! Oh my god, what? I was not expecting that. I like forgot that could even happen to me. We're going in a lot of elevators, considering how many bombs we're trying to set off. Damn. Geth are sending in reinforcements. Heads up, LT. We just spotted a troop ship headed to your location. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? I don't know. There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. Just hold on. Alenka, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's oh done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. No. No, 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 no. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Could have been a little darker. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of people who really just think, like, the events of what happened in Pocahontas, the movie, are real. Like, I knew someone at my job. A couple years ago he doesn't work there anymore but he thought she married john smith and i was like no she didn't and he was like yes she did like you couldn't you can't argue i'm rescuing kaden sorry unholy lizard i'm sorry alenko radio joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site yes commander i, I... you know it's the right choice lt <laughs> of course it was i'm sorry i'm sorry ash I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. I mean, if I were Ashley, I would be a little salty that... Uh... I didn't get rescued because... I wasn't sleeping with a shepherd. Although, have Caden and I even... We haven't even kissed. What kind of romance is this? Oh, sorry. Who is that, anyway? You guys are funny. Okay, I'm, whoa, that guy... Whoa. R.I.P. to him. That was a sobering moment. Commander, set that nuke and get out. We can't hold them. Oh, do I have to do it? Suppressing He's fire. doing it. Cover your flank. Cover your. Suppressing fire. Drama. I applaud you, Shepard. My geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. I gotta say again, how did Nihilus not notice that Saren has, like, literal machine implants all over him? She So make me understand. Yeah, Paragon. Why are you doing this? 
You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand Look at what the Reapers eyes. are capable of. They cannot be stopped. They're literally machines. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? It's not that simple, Saren. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? What am I looking at? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. It's true. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Shh. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. Mm -mm. Poor Saren. I get it. I get. I get what he was trying to do. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. Aww. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Mm. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. I think it's a little late, Saren. I'm looking up Saren's personality type. I'm guessing ENTJ. I was right. ENTJ. Makes sense. Because I, I, like, get... Uh... I get what he's thinking. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is, it is insulted. insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. Poor Geth. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. Yeah, we must work with the Reapers. It's like I get what he's saying, but to prove useful, you're just a tool, like a hammer. Like, do you want to exist just as a tool? Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we she can find a way at... to stop them. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Ooh. Girl, I'm sorry, you're indoctrinated. Just like, he's super useful and smart, so he's not as indoctrinated. Poor Saren. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it! You're already under its power! No, Sovereign no. needs me! If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Oh, okay. I've never done a full Paragon playthrough, so I've never been able to say join me before. I have no idea what that's going to do. I'm pretty sure it won't have that much of an effect, but we'll see. Together, we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. I understand. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I don't think I'm that's fair. I'm not doing this for myself. Yeah. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. Okay, Limp Bizkit. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers. Between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my Ooh, work. here comes my favorite song. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must...
must die. I don't know how Shepard hears him from that far away. Especially over all this water. I would be like, what? Oh my god. That scared me. Dude, I know. His hoverboard is amazing. I want one. And Conrad <laughs> absolutely would have saved Sarah. <laughs> You're so right. Urban, I was just thinking the same thing about the way Mass Effect 3 ends. I was taking into account everything Saren was saying, and it it all goes together so well. Oh my gosh, whoa, this motion blur. This, I say again, this bomb looks like a ladybug. It's too cute. It shouldn't be that cute. Bear, this might actually be my favorite Mass Effect. Whenever I play Mass Effect 2, I'm like, oh, no, the second one is my favorite, but... All right, everybody, hang on! All these great moments. R.I.P. Ashley. <laughs> Sorry. The Green Goblin called he wants his ride back. I can't believe that Ash <laughs> didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? It was really easy. We just left. Williams knew the risks going in. Yeah. She gave her life to save the rest of us. Mm-hmm. Why me? Why not her? God. This music that's playing, it's, you know, it's the love theme on the soundtrack. That's what it's called. This is the most depressing love theme in the world. I would play this at a funeral, which is what's happening. Like, why is the love theme also Ashley is dead? I'm sorry, Caden. I'd never leave you behind. I couldn't. You Yikes. Know I know. And I am grateful, but Ash died because of me, because of us. That's true. That's not a good reason, but it's what happened. <laughs> it wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm... we'll get it done. <laughs> Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. <laughs> I think are. the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Like, Kaden and I were having a moment, Liara. Like, could you just give us a second? Now, um, Liara's gonna tell me to embrace eternity. You wanna join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. She just wants to see. Here we go. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. I still don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, the first one totally has that hopeful feeling. Even a, lo a lot of the third one, you kind of think, ooh. Incredible. I, I never thought the images would be so intense. Liara. I need a moment to collect myself. Ugh. Oh. Um, but Liara, you volunteered for this. I've been through this so many times. I'm fine. Why are you woozy? Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. But the conduit. There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! Oh. The conduit is on Ilos! Okay. That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. Ilos. You never mentioned this. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? That's fair. Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. Good thing she's here. I don't know how we would have figured that out without her. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The oh. Mew relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. Excuse me, I'm a Spectre, though. Who cares if I'm welcome? The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. 
Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Oh, poor Liara. Are you okay? Dr. Chalkwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. This feels insensitive to say, but I'm, I'm just going to say it. Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. Oh. I just need some time to recover. Okay, we'll go. We're done here. Dismissed. We're done. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Oh, they're not going to be happy. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Oh. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. I really didn't expect them to call that a success. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Mm -hmm. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Listen, it is accurate. What do you think? Sovereign's a reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. What? Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. What happens? Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Oh. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. Mm. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. Okay. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the specters. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. All right. That was not a bad interaction with them. Normally, I hang up on them, so... Hey, Garrus. Commander, I wanted to thank you. Thank me. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. I think we've had this and conversation. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salion, too. Mm -hmm. I'd convince myself that he deserved to die. But he then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it. But I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. Okay. Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going back to CSEC. I think I can make a difference there. I'll also reapply for Spectre training, but I'll do it right. I can't I bring myself to myself skip to through this. There. He's having if a the moment. If people I'm sworn to protect can't trust me, then I don't deserve to be the one protecting them. That's great, Garrus. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet We Sarah. already met him. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Oh, there's no Ashley here. Oh my gosh, it's so empty. What did she even do over here? Is this her laptop? Should we, like, send it to her family? What do we do? Are these her guns? No. There's so many of the same guns. What? What did? Why is she? Why was she always standing here? What was she up to? Okay, Rex. Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. Thanks. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. It was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. Oh yeah. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. What's up? You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. 
Still, I find the loss of Captain Kirahi troubling. But I won't blame you. I know you lost one of your own as well. Um, it's not really the same. Captain Kirahi will be missed. But many others will live because he gave his life. That is our lot, I suppose. But there may come a day when so many have been sacrificed, it will be impossible to tell who won. Hmm. The mission was a success. That will have to be enough. We won't trouble you for long. Our unit will be disbanded as soon as we depart. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Well, it's nice to see you. I hope that they're getting along with Rex down there. I hope that they feel embarrassed that they were like, Oh, I can't believe Rex saw reason. Blah, 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 blah. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. We've talked about this. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Me too. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. It's sad. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? I think that he at first thought that he could stop the return, and then he realized, oh, we've got no chance. I just have to make it so that Turians and whoever else will side with me can prove that they're useful and not get eradicated. Like, I think Saren had the best of intentions. It sucks that no one can see that. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. I guess. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Um, there's not really much else to talk about. I should go. What's he doing? What is this? What? Okay. Anything you need, Commander? Are you serious? Anything I need? I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, ma'am. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I don't think he said anything. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. This is depressing. Thanks for the advice, ma'am. I don't even feel like I gave any advice. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. Maybe I should ask this first. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe of them? In awe? Anything so old, so intelligent. Yeah, like, that's how I feel. They're incredible. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. No, it's not we comparable. We gave them a boot in the ass. I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. That's funny. Joker? Commander. I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. Aww. Hey, there is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. I love Joker. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his geth. Okay, but we're not doing that right now. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the oh. Normandy at the head of that fleet. I guess we're yes, going to the Citadel. Okay. And we're, Good job, feels Shepard. Like we're in trouble. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. Okay. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, 
We will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. Okay. You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Oh. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Send me after One it. ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Do you? No, you don't. Do you? <laughs> Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Oh my god, I'm about to call the Council Fools. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Oh my god. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. Mm -hmm. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. What? You bastard! You're selling us out! Yeah. It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. You son of a bitch. But I can't say that because this is a Paragon playthrough. Are you insane? After everything I have done, you still don't believe me. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this with my help, of course. Wow. Oh, I think something romantic is about to happen. Oh my god. This Commander, are you alright? I'm sure there's a way to appeal. We're under Alliance authority, after all, not the Council. Official channels are closed. They were quite clear about that. Closed. And we're supposed to accept that. So where do you think the best view will be when the Reapers roll through? If we have to sit it out, may as well get a good seat. This is silly. Why am I sitting on the floor? Looking up at Kate? <laughs> That's not a flattering angle. Like... Like, <laughs> this doesn't look good. <laughs> okay. We're out of the game for now. I need you to be there while I figure things out. You know you can count on me, or any of the crew, Commander. Come on, Caden. I can get a salute from anyone on this ship. Yeah, Caden. Sometimes I need a shoulder. A yeah, shoulder. I always leave a way out. You know that. What? I'm here for you. But we're in a rough spot, and the last thing I want to do is muddy things. This is... Like it's all that clear to start with. Are we the pride of the fleet or not? Are we valued agents or just peons? I'm sorry, but Shepard just, like, begged for some sympathy, and Caden started talking about mud. Can't just pull out a good old-fashioned, it'll be all right, can you? It's that easy, huh? Okay, then. Everything will be fine, Shepard. You'll figure it out. That wasn't so hard now, was it? I could get used to it. I guess we have some downtime to figure out what we are, huh? Oh my gosh. You have to, like, force him to flirt. Oh my gosh. This is so... 2002. Are we about to kiss? Are we gonna kiss? <gasps> Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Are Got you a message serious? from Captain Anderson. Wouldn't you just kiss anyway, though? I always think in movies, like, when this happens, like, wouldn't you just kiss anyway? Like, after... after the message? Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. There's still Captain hope. Captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Well, I guess you better go, then. Okay, let's talk to Anderson. You look so much happier here. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. I'm not kidding. Anderson looks just like my dad. Like, they're twins. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know. I'm sorry. 
I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. Oh, what happens to you? If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Okay, what about my crew? Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. Thank you. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. Why does he do You'll this? You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happens. Okay. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Uh, I guess I think it's too dangerous. You're gonna get yourself killed. I don't think he'll get to be killed. Way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Okay. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. A better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The ambassador <laughs> he was hoping person. I'd say that. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Okay, that's it for me today. Thanks for hanging out with me. Vermeer, I can't believe we finished Vermeer.